Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One and welcome to Boots on the Ground and news you should know. A lot happening. I have not done a Boots on the Ground in a while just because of the Israeli Hamas uh, conflict in the Middle East. Uh, so I have personally been following that plus I've been prepping. I've been getting things ready uh, just in case of the financial implications to the United States, be it uh, increased fuel, uh, be it increased uh, supplies or logistical supplies from overseas coming in being uh, rerouted or canceled so there's a lot of variables but let's get right into it uh, there's a YouTube channel called every man prepping I'll put the link in the description I'll put the link in the first pinned comment uh, great stuff uh, family friendly go check him out give him some love this is from a farmer after some thoughts I decided it might be a good idea to order some fuel for next year was quoted for the delivery now on 1,000 gallons at $5.24. Or that would have been $5,240 for farm fuel. Um, and I was advised from them, the delivery company, that the price will only be good for three days. Um, and they are expecting fuel to jump at the first of the year. So he is going to order some fuel. In the past, we used upwards of, it must be a large farm, 10,000 gallons for their operation 10,000 gallons so just imagine if you'll doubled in price that will really cut into his bottom line and it will create inflation for me and you when we go to the grocery store also been reported by many sources that North Korea and Russia made a deal uh, and North Korea is resupplying and refilling uh, the military equipment that was used and 1,000 containers of military equipment was sent from North Korea over to Russia. So it looks like Russia has no problems uh, replenishing their war stock. This person says, I live in Grass Valley. Uh, it's a rural town. Last night, I walked into a Safeway market. I witnessed a guy pushing a pretty full cart out of the store without paying. Um, I shouted, you know, that guy did not pay. I followed him at a distance to his car. I took pictures of his license plate and yelled at him and shamed him. Um, so, basically, crime is really spreading to our rural area. Uh, probably, I should have done that. Um, but, yes, I don't recommend that. You definitely could cause a problem. But, yes, document it as best you can. This is an update from Northern Ontario, Canada. Grocery prices have really shot up here. $7 for a gallon of milk, $8 for a pound of butter, 18 pounds for cheese. Been buying in bulk in the nearby larger city with a few other families and prices are reasonable when buying in larger quantities. We split everything up and vacuum pack it and then we freeze it. So that is good. He says he's currently installing a second wood stove in the house for backup to the backup. Uh, definitely recommend a wood stove. Um, he's also been hitting pawn shops, buying tools and other things that he might need. They also said, please pray for my family. My sister-in-law has cancer and has three little kids. We need all the prayers we can get. So pray for this person. Uh, three children and cancer. Not a good combination. You probably have heard of the people um, that... Perished. One person perished and two people were wounded, or excuse me, injured. Uh, and this was at the Horney Manufacturing Plant. So just another uh, problem with logistics. Uh, more fires, more explosions. Um, I don't know the cause of this one. Hopefully they'll find out. The U.S. Tre Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said on Monday that certainly the U.S. can afford to support wars on two separate fronts. Fronts. Um, I don't know where she's getting her data from, but we're cold, stone cold broke and only getting worse. So, no, we cannot afford one war. We can't even pay our bills on a daily basis. You know, we're all distracted by the Israel Hamas Middle East problems. But if you continue to watch the debt clock, it is climbing. We had another huge jump a few days ago, uh, 20, 30 billion dollars. But every day, nonstop, on idle three billion dollars minimum every day we go into debt we can't afford anything right now this is a u.s marine rapid response forces headed to the waters off the coast of israel and also they're preparing some more soldiers to be sent over there in support roles no combat roles uh, so pray for these soldiers sailors uh, actually one of our viewers here has a daughter that's in route so pray 
for that situation. I think the daughter will stay on a ship so that will be a lot safer than on the ground. But still, our ships in the sea are sitting ducks compared to the hypersonic missiles that the enemy has. This person said, I don't know if they work for Wendy's or they notice it, but all the Wendy's prices increased today substantially in some cases. This is from Phoenix, but applies nationwide. Heads up to any viewers with T-Mobile. They will be upgrading customer plans with a pretty dramatic increase in rates per line for added service. This will take effect in November unless you contact them to opt out of this new added service. Customers should get a text regarding, so please read the text and make sure you follow through if you do not want these additional charges. This person just said inventory on 556 or 223 ammo for AR 15s um, is low. A lot of people have sent me that. Uh, there's just a rush to buy ammunition with the increased threat of a terrorist attack in the United States. People are scared, and manufacturing of ammo always picks up, and sales always picks up. This is Vista Outdoors, a leading ammunition manufacturing and it's in Idaho, is selling for $1.91 billion to a Czechoslovakian company for cash. Um, so, I don't know if they're going to keep the ammunition manufacturer here, if they're going to take this, the equipment back. I don't know any more than it's reported here. I got a lot of these. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to include them all, but I appreciate it. In the past two weeks, we've had more than the unusual military aircraft movement over our house. We don't live near an installation, uh, but occasionally on our we get some on our flight path. So lots of those are coming in. Military, the U.S. military is flexing, moving stuff around. I could not verify this, but I will read it to you. I know a guy who is invested in a fairly small body armor company. I think they get private label stuff made somewhere in the southeast. Anyways, uh, I was told he's gotten several calls from the Israeli government and Israel an Israeli civilian organization looking to make large purchases of body armor. I think he said something like a thousand to ten thousand units. I don't have any more on that. <clears throat> You've probably all heard about the cargo train that derailed, uh, collapsed a bridge, and um, as our infrastructure gets older and older and we do not put money into it because we do not have the money, we're going to see more and more of infrastructure uh, accidents. Hopefully this was just an accident and not anything uh, criminal. This person said, I was making some junk silver investments and my nine-year-old son who just fell in love coin collecting asked to see my latest purchase so i let him look at them he found several non-silver dimes uh, so if you're investing in precious metal make sure you check the coins uh, to make sure you're getting what you paid for the pharmacy staff from walgreens uh, are laying the groundwork for a nationwide walkout uh, also CVS, so there's a lot of people uh, not happy with what they're making or happy in their working conditions, and, and walk-off strikes are occurring in every industry. I live in a far western Kentucky. From time to time, we have aircraft from Fort Campbell doing flyovers for training. Uh, a few days ago, we had a B-50, or excuse me, a B-2 stealth bomber flying around. I've lived in this area basically my whole life, uh, minus my military time. I've never seen this type of air aircraft flying around at the altitude it was flying. This person says, nothing I am telling you is classified or secret, but we've been hauling new munition containers. We picked them up at a sea box. We pick them up at, um, in New Jersey, from New Jersey, and ship them uh, to another location, just an ammo depot, I'll say. We've been doing this. Uh, for a while, um, so definitely the military is moving, uh, definitely moving equipment around, moving ammunition around. Um, they have an order for to move 1,700 new ammunition containers, and these are like uh, a storage connex. And they're all painted dark green, not sandbox tan. So 1,700 new, they're going to move some ammo. <clears throat> This person says, my daughter drives for, I'll just say, an Amazon affiliate. Her main run, she works nights, uh, usually takes a full load. 
then is unloaded and she usually returns empty um, she had some runs canceled Thursday night Friday a.m. but wasn't given a reason so could be nothing or it could just be the consumer is slowing down this is evidence people are not buying as much because they do not have the money um, the chairman of Ford in a speech said that the United Auto Workers need to resolve this problem before this problem gets out of hand uh, all sides are losing money uh, it's not good for the economy so hopefully they can work this out the governor of California Newsom signed a law that will raise health care workers minimum wage to $25 this won't happen until 2026 uh, it applies to clinics um, large clinics so it's your small mom and pop will not be affected but still this will create more inflation Pfizer said on Friday afternoon it's planning to cut billions of dollars in spending and laying off staff it is just to lower demand for their you know what shot um, and other drugs to fight so they are reducing I think by nine billion dollars the Federal Reserve president in the Philadelphia area said that the current level interest rates have killed off access to the housing market for new customers uh, the highest mortgage rates in 23 years are dragging down home sales home sales are collapsing and they will continue to collapse if this was reported by Fox 32 Chicago and Chicago is providing up to nine thousand dollars in rental assistance over a six-month period but this money is going to the new migrants or the new uh, immigrants that are coming into this country they're also getting money to set themselves up so getting a starter kit to furnish their new homes um, so nine thousand dollars to a person that's not an American Wells Fargo says they're gonna have massive layoffs too, branch closings and they're trying to cut cost Rolls-Royce is cutting 2,500 positions worldwide uh, Microsoft owned link Lincoln is laying off 700 employees and the list goes on and on I'm not gonna bore you with it but just more layoffs um, this guy said please advise your viewers to pay attention to jugs of white vinegar for sale in some markets uh, basically some of these are 4% acidity you need a uh, 5% acidity so uh, if you're going to be doing pickling or preserving 4% is great for household cleaning cooking or salad dressing but if you're doing the canning process make sure it says 5% vinegar so that's some of the news I would like to throw out there um, looking back we've seen the war in the invasion of Iraq we saw Afghanistan we're still in Syria uh, we destabled uh, Gaddafi in Libya uh, we then had to fight in Ukraine or at least use our military to support uh, and now it looks like we're going to support Israel I would love for us to mind our own business try not to get entangled entangled into the world uh, because it has cost us dearly it has cost me dearly um, my physical health has been impacted I have lost friends uh, fellow soldiers we have spent money we don't have we've put our children and grandchildren and really our great-grandchildren uh, into slavery as you know debt holders so pray for the situation in Israel pray that they can figure out a solution uh, that doesn't include uh, the mass killing of all those people over there on both sides and the risk uh, of a conflict spreading this is a true risk this is probably uh, um, a, the biggest risk in a long time of this conflict spilling out of control uh, causing havoc um, the powers that be loves havoc they love confusion uh, the devil loves it the devil loves when humanity is killing each other uh, exact opposite of what the Lord Jesus Christ wants he wants peace in our life uh, if you're experiencing a lot of dread I've talked to a lot of people they're very uh, fearful they're dreading um, their mental health is suffering uh, to solve most mental health problems having insurance in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior is the number one thing that will definitely help you so if you're having this dread look for assistance uh, I'll be glad to talk to you I'll be glad to talk to you on the phone 
send me an email, southernprepper1 at yahoo.com. If you have any reports from things in your area, also send it to that location. Thanks for watching.